consulting firm McKinsey released a survey Thursday that includes more than 2,200 companies from five countries – France, Germany, Italy, Spain and Britain. It says that 55% of businesses expect to shut down by September next year if their revenues remain at current levels. Reports of virus case accelerations and increased lockdown measures across Europe may cause the outlook to be even worse than the survey suggests. At the current trajectory, one in ten small and medium-sized companies are expected to file for bankruptcy within six months. Small and medium-sized business enterprises, or SMEs, are defined as those with 250 or fewer employees. In Europe, they employ over 90 million people and their small size makes them vulnerable to cash flow crisis. In Spain, for example, 83% of the 85,000 businesses that have collapsed since February employ fewer than five workers. The IMF said in its blog this week, policymakers need to do whatever it takes to contain the pandemic and its economic damage and not withdraw support prematurely to avoid repeating the mistakes of the global financial crisis. The co-author of the survey, Dravko Mladinov, said, For companies, policies need to go beyond liquidity support and ensure that insolvent but viable firms can remain in business. He said that measures are required to allow the restructuring of debt or to make equity available to viable firms. And small businesses here in the United States are unfortunately in the same boat. Half may permanently close. I asked Daniel Akaya earlier, what can we do? He's the chief economist at the Tresses Hedge Fund. The first thing that can be done is to understand that the biggest risk right now is on the very small businesses, small shops, small restaurants, uh, the, uh, all those businesses that are owned by maybe one person with one employee, maximum two, those are the ones that are falling like dominoes and the uh, governments are doing very little about it. Why? Because most of the measures that governments, not most actually, in the European Union, in the Eurozone, the measures implemented by governments are all aimed at giving more credit to business. But these businesses don't have access to credit. So what needs to be done is a comprehensive package that looks at the working capital requirement of very, very small businesses and exonerates of taxes those businesses for a period of one year to allow them to survive. That needs to be done urgently because if they continue with massive uh, stimulus packages aimed at corporations that can access credit, that uh, are aimed at government spending, we're going to go to and make the same mistakes that the European Union made in the 2008 crisis, which is that you have a massive stimulus plan that doesn't get close enough to help those that are actually suffering the most, which are small businesses. And obviously, these small businesses are struggling so much, but we see other businesses, larger businesses, online businesses who are actually thriving. Is it not a case of, well, this is just as you might put it, creative destruction, that is just a natural thing that we need to let happen? No, not really, because creative destruction is when the process of, of obsolescence happens to different businesses because the management or the strategy is wrong and is simply uh, and they die because they're not able to adapt to uh, an environment that is created by the forces of the open economy. This is not an environment created by the forces of the open economy. This is a government forced shutdown and an environment in which the governments that did not take the measures that were needed at the beginning of the pandemic are now implementing even worse measures of uh, mm, mm, economic impact that has very long lasting ramifications. So of course, there will be some businesses that will disappear due to technology and, and to innovation. Absolutely, they will. And that is not a problem. But the majority of the businesses that are falling these days haven't done anything wrong. And if we continue down this path, Daniel, if, if we, we do see what, what these reports are predicting, 
How bad will it be? How significant are small businesses to Europe or here in the US? Small businesses are critical for any developed economy, for any economy in general. If we look at uh, job creation, small and newly created businesses are the biggest drivers of job creation in the United States or Europe. That is why the measures that the United States government implemented were directly straight to provide funds to small businesses and to households, because it was critical to keep the services sector and uh, the economy uh, alive. And it was not going to happen if small businesses collapsed like a domino. In the Eurozone, most of the stimulus is going to companies that already had access to credit. So we, th there are measures for them, that's fine, but small businesses are absolutely critical for any economy. Let's hope they can do something for them then, Daniel. Thanks so much for your time, appreciate it. Thank you very much, have a good day.